Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spitters 2 with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. Well, we may have finished the story line last episode, we may have seen Cortez off. He, uh, he got all the time crystals and he killed all the time spitters, well, maybe all of them, uh, but that's not the end of the game. Oh, no, 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 there's so much more left in terms of, well, mainly these three things, arcade mode, challenge mode and map maker mode, and I think just to show off most of the game, or at least give you a general gist of it, I think it's good if we go through these in some uh, bonus extra videos. So let's start off with this one right here, the arcade mode, a very very popular one, probably probably more popular than the storyline after a while because uh, this is where you have the most fun playing with your friends. And this is split into three different sections within it, we have the arcade league, arcade custom and network. So arcade league is where the game has set up um, arcade scenarios for you. Arcade custom is where you make your own games to play with friends, play by yourself if you're a loner, whatever. <laughs> and network is something I never did as a kid because I had no idea how you even did that because I was only 10 years old. But that is how you go online to play with people across the interwebs. Uh, let's get started first of all with the arcade league. And uh, within that it's split into, god even even more subcategories. We have different um, difficulty levels. So you have amateur, honorary, and elite. Bronze, silver, gold. Let's stick to amateur, please. And now you may notice I've actually already done these first three. May have accidentally recorded this and the uh, the recording sort of messed up. So I've <laughs> I have to redo this. So pretend they're not there, those little shiny trophies, and we'll start again. Uh, so within each of these, look more subcategories, so amateur, each of these has five different um, kind of sections within them. Uh, beginner, mode madness, it's a blast, too hot, they're all different. They're all different based on their little um, arcade games within them. And within each of these, there are three, that's what the three dots mean. So that means overall you've got 15 for this one, 15 for that one, 15 for that one. 45 uh, arcade uh, scenarios to try and beat, to try and get gold on. The amount of content there is just ridiculous. So let's go on the beginner series, I have to play this one again. But we'll start off with Adios Amigos, which is a deathmatch. Uh, everyone was enjoying a siesta at the mission uh, until that dirty dog Hector Baboso decided to liven things up. Now everyone's at each other's throats. Make 10 kills within 10 minutes for a trophy. Okie dokie, and we will pick... Oh, well, it's already picked for us. It's Elijah Jones from the Wild West. Let's go. Okie oi, you stop it. Okie dokie, let me get started. Uh, so this first one's obviously very easy, you can tell because I got gold in it. That's saying something. Um, basically just kill 10 people within 10 minutes. Um, so that's, this is a sort of general um, template pattern that all of these arcade modes follow. Uh, for the most part, because it's mostly just shooting. You may be wondering, what's the difference between arcade mode and challenge mode, for example? Because these seem like challenges, don't they? It's kill 10 people within 10 minutes. But I'd say the main difference is most of the arcade modes are based on shooting, are based on um, killing other people. Oh god, man, that, that rocket launcher just went straight in my face. Yeah, so most of these are based on killing and shooting and, and getting a, a certain number of kills in a certain number of times, or killing people a certain number of times. So that's the same thing I just said then. Um, challenge mode is slightly different where it's a, it's got a little bit more variety to it. You'll see when we when we do record that episode, and uh, you'll see that it's sort of a, a little bit more. Oh god, I got a flamethrower. A little bit more kooky in in some of the things you have to do. It's not just killing. It's sometimes it's collecting things or reaching a destination, um, things like that. But arcade mode still fun because you have all the all the uh, crazy weapons to try out. I really want to get to. Oh, I think I'm there. Please die. Yes, I want to get to this part because then I can actually see <laughs> see what I'm shooting at. I want a nice open area. That's it, you will die now. I wish I had a better weapon. Oh, oh, speak of the devil, what's this? Oh, it's, I've already got it apparently. Have I got a flamethrower? I have! Oh, well, there you go then. You can all burn. I say you burn now. Oh, you're going to run into me and set me on fire, aren't you? No, you're not. Which they can do, because they're sneaky like that. Right, so I think we've got one last kill left. 
Oh, you're running away from me. Why would you do such a thing? There we go. Oh, slow motion death. Love it. <laughs> and we got gold again. Yay, look at me. I'm so good. But as you can see, um, there's different times for different targets. So gold was to do it in three minutes or less. Silver was five minutes or less. And bronze was just, just do it. Um, yeah, let's go back and do some more. We'll finish off this first section. Alright then, so the next one up is called Casualty, and that's another deathmatch, and let's have a look. Dr. Peabody left the morgue door open, and now zombies are running loose all over the hospital. Oh. Again, visiting time starts in 10 minutes. Try to kill 15 of the living dead before then. So, kill 15, 3, minutes 30 is gold, 5 minutes 30 is silver, and just kill them is the bronze. And I think we're going to be, yep, of course we're going to be Dr. Peabody himself. What a haircut. Here we go. Oh, this level looks a little bit creepy, doesn't it? In the morgue. Ooh. Each uh, arcade thing does have their own weapon set as well. And bot set, I, I presume. There's, yeah, of course they're going to have their own bot set. So, you never know what you're going to get, to be honest. I would really like a better gun than this, though. Because the electro tool is kind of loud and annoying. <laughs> uh, let's try and find one. Oh, and I should mention, because um, I've messed up with the recording uh, it's not going to show up because it's already saved but uh, by doing these you unlock characters you unlock um, levels as well so there is a there is a good reason to do these because then you can unlock um, things to play on the custom mode if you know what I mean so uh, I think for that last one in Mexico uh, that one you unlocked uh, what's his name Hector Barbosa as, an, as a playable character, so there's definitely a reason to do these first because then you can you have the whole sort of set to, to choose from when you when you're going for the arcade custom. I really want oh there it is good. I want the laser gun. This the gun is so good. If you charge it up long enough, it's usually one shot one kill. Oh didn't charge it up long enough. Damn it. What the hell is this place? This is terrifying. This is still a morgue. How many kills have we got? We're third. We're really not doing very well here. I need to hurry up. Let's get back into this. Uh, look at the map. Always forget to look at the map. There we go. Charge up for long enough, then boom. Uh, you. Now, damn it, you see he didn't die by that, even though I was charging up for ages. And he did. It's because, well, A, they may have taken damage from someone else, but B... Each character does have their own um, stats, stat levels. I think it's, they have accuracy, agility, and there's one more which I've now forgot. Accuracy, agility, um, something else. We'll, we'll see in a minute, but yeah. Uh, that kind of comes into play when you're, especially when you're picking characters for arcade mode, but you have to kind of keep in mind who's maybe slightly faster or Stamina, that's the last one, has more health. Stamina, I'm pretty sure, is the last one. And we are equal first at the moment, which is good. I'm being... Oh man, he just slid. How the hell did he do that? 14. Alright, one more. One more death, please. God damn, I can't find anyone. Let me win this. <laughs> I think they're all around here. Aha! Please don't. Please die. I want to win this. Oi! You just stole my kill, zombie! There you go. Take that. <laughs> you will be my last kill. Uh, we got another gold. No, we didn't. I actually think we did really bad then. Uh, oh, no, no, we didn't. No, eight, I thought that said 89 seconds, but there's no such thing as that. Um, three minutes, 8.9 seconds. So, yeah, we got the gold again. Very good. Very nice. And we were first. Great. Alright, so let's just finish off this uh, beginner section and uh, do Top Shot, which is an elimination mode, slightly different. You'll see why, because prove your authority to the young cadets during combat training. Everyone has six lives each, but lose them all and you'll be out of the military for good. So this one's slightly different, but again it's all based around killing. This time people have a certain number of lives and you must kill them all. So uh, gold is three minutes. Silver 4 and bronze, just do it. Let's go. 
and we will be Sergeant Shock. Yeah, so there you go. Accuracy, agility, and stamina. Let's go. Oh, God, okay. Now if I just spawned you straight in, you just... I see you running for that weapon there. What did he just get? I want that. Oh, God, no. Oh, this has a noob tube, doesn't it? Excellent. So as you can see on the... Whoa, 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 okay. We are on five lives already. As you can see at the top, uh, there's a little sort of display of how many people are left in the game. How many people still have six lives or less. Come on. This shotgun's so bad. I want a double barrel gun, really. Good. But you do have to be more careful now because you can lose at this one. But also this one's kind of interesting because... It's sort of based on the AI and how well they kill each other. So you could be lucky and they all kill each other really quickly. Or you could be unlucky and it takes ages so you don't get gold. In which case you just have to be better yourself. But here's the thing with this game, especially custom uh, arcade, well, custom and, and the league modes, is it's just so fun and frantic that I think this is the reason why most people play this game. And it's because it's so well made. You may not realise that, or you may not think that when watching, because it just seems like a kind of bog standard shooter. But it's really kind of the controls are, are good, and and the weapons they are fun weapons, fun characters. It's almost you don't notice it because it's all well done. You you would notice if something was a bit dodgy, if it was bad, but you don't because it's all good. If you I'm not explaining that very well, and I'm really getting screwed over here. It's kind of like the quote from Future Armor, where if you do things right, it would seem like you haven't done anything at all. Along those lines, I sort of butchered that. But a sort, of, a sort of like that where people don't really say much because it's so good. Uh, and I love that. I love, I just, oh, get rid of this crappy shotgun, it sucks. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun. Obviously more fr fun with other people, not just on your own. But the AIs are sort of good, so you have way too much health, sir. And I only have four lives left as well, don't I? Mm, amount of ammo. <gasps> Minigun. Yes. No. <laughs> Crap! I better be better at this game. If only it was just that simple. It's just to say it. But we're in the hangar level, which is something you unlock from. Um, oh man, that just jumped down. Something you unlock from doing this. Come on, I just got... No! I'm sure I just got max or better health then. Aha! Here we go! Where are you? I see the red dot up there. Come and find me. When it's just uh, you and one other person, it gets a bit slow because you have to try and find each other. Uh, somewhere over here, maybe? I think he's running away from me. If I just stand still, he probably... Oh, it's finding me. He's finding me. He's found him. And he's dead. He still has another life though, screw him. Oi. Uh oh, don't overheat now. There we go. Good, good. And there you go, oh we only got silver for that. But that was better than, I think I got bronze last time. So there you go. Ooh. And this is, the, this is what it looks like to get a trophy by the way. Uh, lovely shiny. Time splitter right there in the silver colour because we've got silver. Nice. And yeah, that was the first little section. Um, just the beginner's series. But then there's four more on this. Five more on that, five more on that. So a lot of stuff to go through if you want to get gold and all of those, especially when it comes to these ones because these will be all quite tricky. Uh, but let's have a quick look at the arcade custom mode just to end off this episode. Obviously, we can't do network. So let's just look at arcade custom. This is what I used to do the most, I'd say, with my friend. And we'd always do it on Frantic. Is there any other mode? No. Uh, so let's have a look. It's the standard sort of mode you have for uh, arcade sort of um, games. Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Bag, Capture the Flag, uh, Bag Tag, Elimination, what we just did then. And these ones are locked, but oh, some of these are really good. Uh, Shrink, Vampire, Thief, Flame Tag, oh, Virus. My favourite. Regeneration, Leecher. Is, um, is there a monkey one? Monkey assistant! Little monkeys come and help you if you suck too much. That's a good one. But I guess we have to go with uh, Team Deathmatch because the others are locked. And it's gotta be... This is the level I always played. Pretty much. High Station. Not quite sure why. 
but it's just that's the way it was and we put it to five minutes um, explosives I did put it on explosives for a reason because it has mines let's have a look is there any others that have got time mines we could make a you could do a, a, a custom set but that takes too long so screw it we'll keep with that one then and let's pick a character. Uh, monkey's good. Oh my god, the mutant. That's kind of freaky. So you unlock more of these by doing more of the arcade leagues. Ugh. Oh my, big Tony. He is quite big, actually. At least you get a chance to see the enemies and the bosses that really were far too easy. So there's Jacques de la Mort. Let's be, let's be big Tony. He is pretty big. And we will be on the green team. Okay. Oh. That noise. Man, that does take me back. So yeah, this is the one I always used to... We did play others, obviously, but it was mainly this one. We just, we really loved this map for some reason. And uh, when I went for a sleepover or something, we'd play this in the morning. Kind of scarily early in the morning as well. Like, <laughs> like 7 o'clock in the morning. Time splits 2. Yes. That's just the way it is. Now, what are our tactics... This is why it's so fun playing with a, with a friend, is because you come up with stupid tactics and just mess around. And ours was to climb up to this middle base, which is... Oh, crap. There's a mine there. Um, climb up to that middle base and sort of camp at the top. And that seems really lame, but uh, we usually did it on virus mode. And virus mode is basically zombies. You get infected. So we come up here and you kind of lay traps down for people. And uh, it was just really fun. It's kind of probably kind of stupid looking back, but yeah, we kind of stay here and whoa, they're getting me from through the windows, man. Um, and wait for them to kind of come up, and then we go boom like that when they reach there, and see how long we could hold out because it was all about after a certain point you kind of get overwhelmed by them, like you'd miss time and some would get through, and that would be like crap. They're coming right around there, and eventually you just have to bail out the window like that. But yeah, lots of different maps in this game. Oh, all pretty good. I can't really think of any that are really bad. There's one called um, Streets, which was featured in uh, Shaun of the Dead, one of my favourite films of all time. So it's one of my favourite games in one of my favourite films. Uh, it's kind of played in the background, and I love the fact that's in there. And in fact, they do reference that. The, the Free Radical did reference the fact that the game was in Shaun of the Dead. They put a line... Um, one of Shaun of the, well, not a catchphrase, but just one of the lines from Shaun of the Dead. They make one of the zombies say it in Future Perfect. It's something like, have I got red on me? Which is what um, someone asks. Someone says to Shaun in Shaun of the Dead. Which is kind of cool. But yeah, um, there's not really much more to show for the arcade. It, it is just all about blowing up people. Getting blown up yourself. I hate this gun, this sucks. There we go. Oh, Corporal Hart's back from the dead. And, uh, oh, proximity mine, that's what that was. Well, now. You just got blown up, didn't you? You did. Excellent. You could also use these, I guess. Put them sort of there. And wait for people to come. <laughs> that's just as good. Oh, and I just got. Oh, crap. Blown up by myself. Hmm. Great. So, yeah, this is Ice Station. I would show you loads more of the maps, but it probably takes too long. And, uh,. Yeah, there's no, they're all just they're all just cool maps. Uh, let's kind of quit out of this. Uh, quit. So yeah, there you go. Sorry for the uh, kind of awkward cuts, but I'm just cutting out the loading screens because they're a bit long. But there you are. There's a uh, there's the arcade mode. It's just a brief look over it. It's really not going into too much depth because there is so much there. But uh, there is so much to this game that I, I feel I should show this off. Uh, next episode, we'll have a look at the challenge mode and how it differs slightly from the arcade mode. And finally onto the map maker and maybe some look at the uh, unlockables like cheats and also the um, game cartridges that you get in the story mode. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.